Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking FC Bayern München logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is the creation done in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start in the blank presentation. I already have this logo in here and will select format, colors drop down and I will select this light gray preset just so it's not getting in our way. And I guess we will start with those labels because those are the, probably the hardest thing out of this logo. I mean it's not quite hard to get this uh, follow shape for the text in Microsoft PowerPoint or Word, but it's kind of hard to get it right. So I'll insert a new text box and I will of course type in FC Bayern. I will set the font to be Arial Black because that's kind of similar to what we are looking for and the size could be maybe I don't know, like 50 or 54, uh, sorry, 55 points, something like this. Now in order to get this rounded you know, follow path effect, I will open the format text effects, transform, and I will select this follow path arc preset. That will kind of bend it, but it will bend it only a little bit because the shape of the text box is a rectangle. And in order to get it uh, bended around the circle, we need to make sure that the text box size is actually a square. So something like this. I can still right click and select format shape. And in the size and f you know the size and position properties i can make sure that the height and width are the same so maybe 10 centimeters for both then i will select home and i will set the paragraph uh, alignment or adjustment uh, to be center aligned and i will move it over the logo like this and as you can see it's a little bit bigger so i guess i will set the height to not, not 10 point not 10 centimeters but only maybe like nine and that seems to be a little bit better you know, the font size is probably the right, the spacing is little, maybe a little bit too big, so I will open the font properties and in the character spacing I will set the spacing to be condensed by, I don't know, like two points. You know, those numbers are pretty hard to guess because you don't see immediate result, you have to click the OK in the dialog and then make those adjustments, you know, one more time or several more times. It kind of takes a lot of time to get it right. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result as for the top label. So what I will do is I will copy paste this. I will move it to the side and I will type in München. And I will not, of course, min, and the N is missing, München. I will not type this, you know, special U character because it, while it's there, it will most likely look different because usually you don't see like all those triangles in here. So we just, we have to just keep in mind that later on we want to add those. So I will open the, again uh, the format shape effects and in the in the text effects I will open the transform and select this preset arc down. Now immediately you can see that it kind of looks strange. You know the spacing is too tight. It's probably too small. So I don't know why it's happening, but I have to fix it. So in the font I will set the spacing from condensed to expanded, maybe by I don't know 10, 10 points. Maybe ten is too much. Maybe like I don't know eight points you know and the size should be a little bit bigger so the size of the actual text box could be maybe like 10 by 10 centimeters of course it depends on the background image okay so something like this it also seems to be a little bit rotated so I'll rotate it a little bit to the right side and it kind of fixed this okay so I'm pretty happy how it turned out for those labels I will open the selection pane and I will hide those labels for now because I want to focus on those all those uh, circles and other elements i will zoom in as much as i can for this logo and i, will, I guess i'll start with all those different circles and i will not actually draw the circles but i will draw the hollow circle so insert shapes and i will use this uh, circle hollow i will draw it in the size of the main logo and in the shape fill i will increase the transparency a little bit I will right click and select set as default shape so the next time the new shape will also be a little bit transparent and I will adjust this yellow handle like this. Then I will copy paste this, move it to the same spot and I guess I can use the control and down arrow keys and left arrow keys. No, I cannot use those. Yes, I can use those. So I can use left uh, control shift down arrow and left arrow which will make it a little bit taller and a little bit uh, less wide. So that's one way how to change the shape using the keyboard. The other thing, other way is of course to hold the shift and control key and drag one of those handles and it will also be resized from the center. So it's up to you which method you want to use. I will adjust this yellow handle like this and I guess I need this shape one more time. 
into a little bit smaller size, doesn't matter the size, the outer size, but the inner size should be matching this pattern outline like this. And I will show you in a minute why we need this extra shape. For now I will again show the selection pane and I guess I don't need to show those circles right now so I will just hide those and I will focus on this pattern made from diamonds in the center so I guess I can just zoom in even more. I will insert shapes being this diamond which is this one. I'll draw it in the similar size, set the line to no line so I can guess the right size. Not move the image but actually rotate the shape like this. Then use one of those handles to resize it to the very same or very similar size. Okay, this seems to be about right. So I will move it on the left side like this. Then what I will do is I will press the Ctrl D on my keyboard or I can just uh, open this menu in here and select duplicate. That will duplicate the object but if I do it right like this I can move it to the new spot to this one and now when I duplicate it one more time so if I hit Ctrl D on my keyboard the actual distance from the previous uh, symbol will be kept so I can just keep pressing the Ctrl D on my keyboard and you can see it kind of matches the pattern although it not, it's not perfect match so you can see the last one is a little bit more to the bottom than it should be so I will move it to the right spot select all those diamonds and select format align distribute horizontally and distribute vertically now it should be perfectly fine I will group all those diamonds together and I will duplicate this group two more times one more time for the top uh, pattern and one more for the bottom pattern okay and I guess we have all the shapes that we need at least I hope so so maybe not we need st we still need this little triangle for the minchen text so I will zoom in as much as I can and I will draw this triangle so insert shapes ISS class triangle I will draw it in a fairly small size without any outline rotate it to kind of match the orientation of the text but we, stay, we still may want to rotate it uh, later on with our own text. I will show all the elements and uh, uh, you know, similar shapes and I will actually move all those to the right side so I can start setting the fill and outline for all those. I will move the image to the left side, select format, reset picture and I can start by showing one object at a time and setting the right fill and uh, outline. So for all those three groups, those diamonds, they should have no outline and the fill should be a solid fill and I will sample the blue color from the original logo. I will move all those three groups down below everything else because they should be on the bottom. Then we have one of those circles, the, the most outer one should have the blue fill color and no outline. The second one should be red so I will sample the red color from the original logo and no outline. The other one which is this one that should actually have the white fill color so I will set the white fill color without any transparency and no outline and I will move this below the red one just so it covers the pattern on the background which is exactly what we want. Then we have the triangle and the text we will move all of those in front of everything and for the text the fill should be white so the text options the fill should be white and also the triangle should have the white fill color without any transparency. Now it's kind of not working I was m probably setting the text option so I have to set the shape options the fill to be white without any transparency. Now if I just uh, set a few minutes ago I may still adjust the position matching our own text but it seems like everything is fine for some unknown reason the text is kind of changing its position and rotation while we change change the zoom factor so you can see if I zoom in as much as I can everything looks perfect but as I start zooming out the text is kind of wiggling around so at some point the triangle seems to be aligned perfectly at the other point it seems to be a little bit off which is kind of strange but that's how things work inside Microsoft PowerPoint and Word unfortunately. Okay for this FC buyer I guess we can make this just a little bit smaller so for the shape options and the size and properties I will make the height and the width just a little bit smaller maybe 
okay this looks a little bit better it kind of matches the background uh, shape and that's it that's how you create the fc bayern München logo inside microsoft powerpoint in like 10 minutes or so thanks for watching